Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary. Well, the former Axel Nobel Specialty Chemicals has recently been relaunched as Norion. The move follows the recent acquisition of the business by the Carlyle Group and the GIC marks the company's transition to become an independent global specialty chemicals leader. Joining me now is Mr. Johan Landfors, member of the yeah. Executive Committee for Polymer Chemistry. Johan, welcome to the show and congratulations on the launch of your new brand and new name, Norion. May I start by requesting you to please talk me through the transition of Axon Nobel Specialty Chemicals to Norion. Yeah, my position at uh, Norion is that I, uh, I am a member of the executive committee for the company and I report to the uh, CEO uh, of the company, Charlie Shaver. And I'm responsible for one of the five business units, the business unit polymer chemistry. And we serve the, the global uh, polymer industry uh, with uh, initiators and co-catalysts. So what kind of growth potential do you see for the polymers industry? Uh, on a global basis, we see that uh, growth for, for the polymer industry is will be uh, just about GDP uh, growth. Uh, and that, of course, varies in different parts of the world. We see clearly demand growth in uh, North America, uh, driven by shale gas. We also see uh, uh, growth in countries like China and India, primarily driven by GDP growth. And then uh, uh, clearly a bit slower growth in the, in the European countries. So, New York is on a mission to transform the chemistry world. What technologies are you investing in to improve your operational efficiency? You know, uh, as a uh, company that is proud of our uh, technology heritage and the number of leading technologies, and also our ambition uh, to support our company, our customers to be more sustainable, both financially and environmentally, uh, we have innovations that are uh, important for our uh, our customers. Uh, for my business unit in, in particular, we invest in uh, definitely safer products because our products are uh, by nature quite reactive. They need to be reactive in order to make uh, polymers. So for us, product safety is a, a key area where we have a number of exciting uh, technologies that we are uh, launching. Uh, and of course, also a number of uh, key technologies. For example, the, the PVC industry, we have a new revolutionizing system for how to make uh, uh, PVC that we have uh, launched since many years in, in Europe and now we're also actively launching that in, in the Americas in, and, uh, and also in India in fact. Well, outside of China, are there any Asia-Pacific countries Norion is expanding its presence in? Yeah, you can clearly see that, uh, you know, we follow our customers, mm -hmm. so wherever they grow, we will want to grow. Well, are there any plans for potential acquisition in the near term? For, uh, for acquisitions, uh, you have probably seen that we recently announced uh, an acquisition in Brazil, um, the company called Polynox. That is now, that uh, acquisition has been closed and integration has been completed successfully. We're very proud of that. And then, uh, in addition, our CEO has announced that uh, acquisition is an integral part of our growth plans going forward. So we have uh, an uh, interesting pipeline of opportunities that we are working on. But as always, the, those are confidential until they are made public. Well, a paint us a picture on the growing trade war between the US and China. Is the escalating trade war tensions creating distortion in the global supply demand chain? It, indeed, it does. And it is quite uh, worrying that the, uh, the trade uh, war discussions are escalating and that uh, I hope that there will be a resolution uh, soon in the upcoming uh, meetings that will happen between the US and China. It's quite important for us. We do manufacture products in, in Americas, in the US, that we ship to China. And we also manufacture a number of products that we ship from China to the US. So for us, it's important to get a re resolution uh, uh, to this. Uh, if not, we will have to increase our prices to uh, our customers in order to compensate for this uh, cost increase because it's not uh, it's not a sustainable solution for any any supplier in our value chain to absorb uh, those kind of uh, cost levels. 
Okay. Well, the world has been operating as a linear economy for several decades now. We as humans have produced, consumed and disposed, imagining that the world's natural resources are infinite. Well, sadly, this isn't the case. And as awareness grows, several permanent players across industries, including in the petrochemicals and polymers industry, has voiced their support to help make a shift to circular economy. Well, we want your thoughts regarding what specifically Nuryon is doing to underline its role in this most urgent and needed shift. Yeah, as you can see uh, already in uh, the mission statement uh, for, for Norion, we want to be a partner to provide essential chemistry for a sustainable future. And sustainability has been part of our company's DNA for many, many years. And uh, when we were part of Axel Nobel, we were very proud to be number one on Dow Jones Sustainability Index. But we as an industry take on the task to also uh, educate the world on how important circular economies are because it's also up to the end consumer to make sure that uh, whatever materials we consume as, uh, as private individuals and their, as companies are returned back to uh, to uh, recycling so we can use the either the energy value or the chemical value in the products. The problem the polymer industry is, has great opportunities to become a circular eco economy. It's just that we need to make sure that uh, consumers do not throw uh, bottles or other plastic goods. They don't belong there. It's a waste. It's a waste of resources. So let's uh, let's work together to make sure that they are returned back into the various value chain. Well, congratulations once again, Mr. Landfors, and many thanks for joining us today. For more stories on plastics and petrochemicals industry, stay tuned to Polymer Update.